Hey everyone, Effie here. Today I'm going to show you how to layer our Pretty Pansies background layering stencils. There are four stencils in this collection. This is stencil one. You can see the etch number and you can also see the etch circles. Now all four stencils will have an etch number and two of the stencils will have etch circles. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to ink blend this collection and what to do with those circled etched areas. Now let's get started with blending our pretty pansy. We're gonna start with stencil number one. You can see the etched one and you can see the six etched circles. So we're gonna tape this stencil onto a piece of white cardstock, eight and a half by 11 inches. When you tape the stencil down, don't tape the corners because we're going to blend off the corners and onto the cardstock to create our alignment marks. And that's how you're going to line up your stencils without any kind of instruction sheet. So this is a good little hack for layering our stencils. I'm using a pink color palette for today's pansies and I'm starting with our dolled up dye ink. You can go over the entire stencil with this color at this point, but after stencil four, I am gonna come back and fill in those circled etched areas with a nice deep plum ink. And I blended off my corners to create my layering marks. And then I just took that stencil off, put stencil two in its place and use our Grand Fuchsia dye ink for my mid-tone color. And there are no etched circles on this stencil. So I'm just gonna go over the entire stencil with that Grand Fuchsia. Then I took stencil two off and placed stencil three in my blended square. This is the third petal layer and I'll use our lipstick red dye ink for the entirety of this stencil. Next up is stencil number four. There are two elements on this stencil. There are 13 etched circles. These are the centers of your pansies. Everything else not in a circle, those are your foliage bits. I'm going to start by blending all of the circled etched areas with our lemon drop dye ink. And you can see through the translucent stencil that they are the centers of the larger lighter pansies and the lower portion of the petals for the darker smaller pansies. Once I'm done blending my yellow, I'm going to go ahead and blend everything else outside of those circled etched areas with our spring salad dye ink. For my blending today, I use a combination of our standard ink blending brushes and our wide flat ink blending brushes. I will link all the supplies that I use in the YouTube description box. So be sure to head over to our website to check out our stencils and all of our ink blending and ink supplies. So once you're done blending stencil number four, you're gonna take that stencil off and we're gonna jump back to stencil number one. Now, there are a few circled etched areas on stencil number one. There are six areas. If you went over those areas with your lightest pink, not to worry. We're just going to go ahead and go over those circled etched areas with our plum wine dye ink, which is a really nice deep pinkish purple hue. When you're blending these areas, you wanna make sure that you're blending the entire area inside the etch circles. Because when you take that stencil off, after you've finished blending this layer, you're gonna see that this aspect or blending this element with a nice deep color really just gives your panel a little bit more interest and a little bit more of that beautiful contrast and you're gonna end up with a beautiful background panel. Now here is the final reveal. Check that out. So this is a four stencil collection. You need a light mid-tone dark and a really dark color for those pansy centers. And we also have a coordinating dye that's available separately. This is gonna cut out all those negative white areas on your panel. You can take this, you can throw it onto a card base, put on a sentiment and call it done. If you're not into a full background pattern, we also have our bright pansies, which is more of a clustered design if that's more your jam. So here are just a few samples of some cards that our team members created using our pretty pansies layering stencils. Thanks for watching guys. I hope this tutorial was helpful to you. I'll see you guys next time.